Uh, how can you tell if a horse is fresh and what does a horse do if it hasn't been loped enough? Um, well, uh, we'll talk a lot about a horse being in your feet and um, a horse that's fresh will not take your feet. I mean, there's some horses that will never take your feet. Some horses don't like that. But uh, to me, a fresh horse is going to, um, you know, they're not, they're not going to come back to you. When you're, when you're riding them, when you're trotting them and loping them, they're not going to want to come back to you, come, like from a lope, come down to a trot, or then from a trot, you know, to when you want to stop. You should be able to stop riding. The horse should stop and, you know, come back to you. Um, if the horse is fresh, you know, when you, when you hand it to the trainer and they walk across the timeline and they jump 10 foot past a cow or they wring their tail or squeal, you probably didn't ride them enough. <laughs> when you're out of cutting, there's some generalized etiquette that we all like to follow. Uh, people walking are in the walk in the middle of the arena and people traveling at faster rates of speed, you know, trot or lope are on the outside. Um, you don't want to slam your horse into the ground in the middle of traffic in front of anybody and run them backwards. Or you don't want to cut people off. Uh, other people will get really mad if you do that kind of stuff. So you just kind of want to be mindful of your surroundings. Um, always kind of, I always kind of try to stay like in the general same path. Um, I'm not want to be weaving in and out of lanes of traffic. It's just you get in people's way and cut people off. They don't much appreciate that. Would you say are some of the biggest mistakes you see people making when they're trying to get a horse ready? Well, I mean, just kind of the way I had started out, like with the, you know, I, I, things that bother me personally, like getting on a horse and it just walking away and then